This is oil coming right off the machine right now. And this is coming from the surface, uh, the surface oil. Back from five days at sea aboard the University of South Florida's Weatherbird 2 research vessel, scientists spent more than a week analyzing water samples taken at various depths across a wide area of ocean. But this is uh, showing us a series of hydrocarbons that are coming out. Each one of these is an individual molecule, so it's a fingerprint of a fingerprint. Oil floating on the top of the water is easy to spot. Oil plumes form deep under the surface and are made up of microscopic droplets so tiny the water around them appears clear. There's the traditional scientific view of oil spill, and then there's what Hollinger and his FSU team found. You have crude, which is a form of oil, hydrocarbon, and that is lighter than water, so most of it will float. In the meantime, it, if you can imagine kind of a cloud, but of a gooey liquid that is spreading out into little droplets. Some people recently have found what others have, uh, have suggested is darker water in the subsurface. Our crews, we did not identify that at all, but what we did identify was uh, water that uh, uh, seemed, that was colorless but had signatures are definitively uh, of, of dissolved hydrocarbons. BP has not commented on the latest findings, but in the past doubted oil plumes. Everyone's out there looking for these plumes, haven't found them yet, and I think it's, uh, it, it's the science of the plumes hanging in the water uh, doesn't feel right. 07, 09, 10. Until now, news of oil plume sightings in the Gulf of Mexico have been based on what government officials called anecdotal evidence. USF scientists went looking for proof. Well, uh, the good news is we found uh, biodegraded oil. And so this is a, a very much of a, of a representative of a uh, biodegraded oil. And that would suggest indeed that the source of these hydrocarbons are from, from depth, that these are not associated with the sinking of surface degraded oil, which is sort of getting a fingerprint on a smoking gun. The worst case scenario is that it causes uh, severe issues with the fish larvae and the fisheries industry. Uh, and the worst case scenario, I think, is collapse of the food chain. That's on, rather on the extreme side of things, but you know, we're in uncharted territories. John Cole, CNN, St. Petersburg, Florida.